I've always been compelled by Richard III because it is such a modern, sharp play about the nature of politics, power, and family. This is sort of like Game of Thrones <laughs> meets Succession. It's got all those elements to it. Katie really also precipitated the moment in time for me to say, I want to do this play now, and I want to do it with her. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York. I have had the pleasure of working with Ed in the past. What an incredible opportunity, but also incredible gift of trust that he was laying this piece in my lap and saying, what can we do with this together? I'm excited to work with Katie again because she brings a lived experience to the part which I think amplifies so much of the play and changes the way you watch it and listen to it. It genuinely feels like it was written for her and I think it challenges us the way we think about villainy, what motivates people to get to the top. I hope that people walk away with this with a different idea about what not only performers with disabilities but also just human beings with disabilities are capable of and not underestimate people because you may get stabbed in the back.